My name is James Waller, and I am the head teacher here at Sunningdale School in Sunderland, Tyne and Weir. Sunningdale School is a school for children with severe, profound and multiple learning difficulties as well as autism. And today is the first day in our brand new state-of-the-art bespoke building. This building has been built to meet our bespoke needs and the bespoke needs of all of our pupils here, pupils with severe, profound and multiple learning difficulties, a number of which also have autism. The environments that we now have in school are key in implementing that intent and vision that we have for our pupils. They're closely aligned to the pedagogy in each of our curriculum pathways. For our children with more complex, profound and multiple learning difficulties, we have a range of sensory spaces, everything from hydrotherapy pools, rebound therapy rooms and light sensory rooms, all available to access at any point throughout the day. For our pupils with very complex communication and interaction needs, we have a range of environments for meeting their sensory regulation needs, including integrated sensory rooms, an outdoor explore space, an indoor explore space, and a range of sensory dens. For our children in the semi-formal play pathway, we have a range of environments for role play, literacy, and developing cross-contextualization of their skills. We now have a range of environments that more closely match the pedagogical needs of the curriculums in each of our pathways. They are bespoke and have been designed to specifically meet the needs of the pupils in those pathways and are unique to Sunningdale School. So the new space that we're looking forward to trying the most is the rebound room that's been specially made. Uh, the trampoline's in the floor and it's going to be really easy to access for the pre-formal students so we can get them straight out of their wheelchair, hoist them straight onto the trampoline and we cannot wait to try it. It's my first day as a classroom teacher, not just in Sunningdale, but entirely, but it's been so joyful, so amazing seeing our incredible children and getting to see how happy they are coming back despite all of the changes. The power of this new building is that it is built purposely for these children. It has spaces for every type of child that you can imagine coming through the door and I think that is particularly special that we can meet so many different needs in so many ways that other places just don't have the facilities yet. So with the next floor we've got a few new spaces and one that's gone down really well is the explore room and the outdoor explore area. So when pupils have been a little bit overwhelmed with the new building, they've been able to go, have some sensory integration breaks, have some movement breaks and it's been really, really successful. Pupils have really enjoyed using the swing, kind of hanging out there or just having a bit more chilled time in some of the darker rooms and as a result they've been really regulated all day. Today has been a really special day because it's not only been the kids' first day in the building, it's also been like my first day as a brand new teacher, which has been really lovely to share that with them. The children in my class today have been really excited. It was really great taking one of the children, especially to one of our new sensory rooms, um, because I'm not sure she's ever seen a sensory room like, like this before. And she just couldn't believe all the different lights, all the, like, the light tunnel. Um, and she just kept running in and out of the room as if to be like, oh, this is amazing, like wanting to show everyone. It was yeah, really incredible to see that. We love the blue moon. We love the trampoline moon. Monkey boards. Monkey boards. <laughs> yeah. What does all we Swimming. Oh, we love swimming. Yeah, what is it? It's like swimming. We love swimming. Oh, we love swimming. Today in early years has been a little bit different from the rest of the school because all of the children are completely brand new. So they've been coming on little transition visits. Some of the children have done a morning session, some of the other children have done an afternoon session and the parents have brought them in to help with that to make it a little bit easier. But to be honest, I'm so happy with how everything's gone. They've really settled, they've took to the room really well. We've kind of stuck to our little area and put little things out that, that we know that they, that they enjoy, but they, they have been really settled. We haven't had any upset really. They've adapted really well. It's been a fantastic day, really successful first day. 
Today went really well. We've got to explore our own new spaces. We've went into the sensory rooms. And the children have just explored the full classroom and interacted with the friends and the staff. But today for me, we've got a suite of rooms that are set up for our informal pathway, our semi-formal explore children. They have been accessing that all day to help regulate their needs. And I've seen particularly the explore room and there's an area outside the explore room where children are really investigating what they can do physically, how they can regulate themselves to then go back in the classroom and to enhance their learning. And I've really seen the good benefits of that today. So first impressions of the school, um, it looks phenomenal. Um, see a hell of a lot of work gone into it. Um, ify has been looking forward to coming back and exploring our new school. Um, all the classrooms and sensory rooms and seeing all of our friends again. What I think about the school is it's going to give the children much more opportunity because it puts the facilities on a par with the, the level and the competency of the staffing. The staffing have always been brilliant but now they've got the facilities to go with that. The new um, space in the school mean that um, my pathway, which is play pathway, could be a lot more independent because we promote from being tiny that they do as much for themselves as they possibly can because it's all about adapting them to live in the outside world to kind of say this is the real world out there. We want you to be as able as you can be. And so the new areas around school are all about that. When we have our new village created, that's about we're going to have a shop, we're going to have doctors, um, a homeroom. So all those areas, a hairdressers, they'll be changed, but it'll be about how do we prepare you for all the skills that you need to actually go ahead then and do that in real life confidently. So it's a massive move away from just we'll have plastic money and we're pretending and everything into independence of do it for yourself. The building that we now have is a building that's aligned with the school's vision and intent for our pupils. That every pupil that attends Sunningdale School will be more. That's be more in whichever way is important to them. To be more creative, be more independent, be more communicative, be more regulated and just be more by the time they leave the school than they were when they arrived. Thank you.